so this uh, in the previous class I discussed about why the circles why because stable sets are represented by circle if present both next to both are equal then it is circled and I wanna know why this arrow see look at this table this column this is one zero 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 column x1 is to 1 0 y1 is to 0 0 and that means to this point then this is a starting point this is a stable set in the stable set look at here suppose uh, input to, I am changing input to value to 1 1 so input is 0 0 now I am changing the input to value to 1 1 what happens is 0 0 is changing to 0 1 okay so 0 1, 0, 1 is the input and present set is this suppose I am changing the input to 1 1 present set is not changing but next set is changing to 0 1 and these two are not equal ok then actually this should be equal why Why? because I am y1 y2 is changed after a delay this should be equal to this but here like that only in the diagram you can see the small y1 and capital y1 are separated by a delay element only that means after a delay capital Y1 should be equal to small y and that means next state should be equal to the present state but here when I am changing the input present state is not changed when input is changed next state becomes 0 1 and that is these two are not equal so it is unstable so this is but after a delay it should be equal so the system will uh, undergo different stage transition and finally it achieves the stability condition that's why I am returning like this a uh, narrow how this stability is achieved because every every system wants a stable condition how this stability is achieved here input is changed from 1 0 to 1 1 0 0 changes to 0 1 and what is this after a delay this 0 1 becomes the present state so what is the present state 0 1 so this is 0 1 uh, this 0 1 present state what is the next state under 1 1 condition 1 1 is held constant not changing the input so this 0 1 after a delay this becomes the present set and that present set at that time 1 1 input is holding so one at that time present set is 0 1 and input is 1 1 the next set is 0 1 only that means both are equal that means it is stabilized that means as the system enters into unstable state it automatically goes back to the stable state after a transition now consider the case from 1 1 I am changing to 1 0 0 1 so what is what happens this is the present is necessary and it changes to 0 0 but 0 0 and 1 0 1 are not equal so this is unstable then the system wait for a delay after that present state becomes a necessary so present state becomes 0 0 so for 0 0 0 1 is held constant that is input is constant held, held constant so at that time necessity is 1 0 it is not stable then again check after a delay this becomes the present state and as at that present state 0 1 is held constant 0 1 is always held constant for a particular state that means before changing this present input state the system will automatically check and it will go to the stable state now this is 1 0 1 0 is the next state and after a delay it becomes the present state and at that time what is the next state 1 0 then both are equal so this 0 1 finally reaches to the stable state sorry this 0 0 this 0 0 finally reaches to the stable state that's why RLC here if we go in left 0 1 is changed to 0 0 definitely that is a stable state no problem that's why this arrow so the system will automatically check and if an check if an unstable state comes and then it will go to stable state before the input changes Uh, next is uh, stable state uh, sta sorry state table uh, this state table is nothing but 0 0 is represented by a b c like that and assigning 0 0 to a 0 1 to b 1 0 to c 1 1 to d so entire entire these points are replaced by a b c d these are the outputs and similarly if the states are equal <coughs> i represented a circle <coughs> this is why this states means uh, 0 0 for we people so people can understand easily with this notation instead of this 0 and 1 if alph alphabets are more familiar to us that's why we changing to state but that's the uh, idea for the state table for the simplicity we convert this binary numbers to states so a b c d and what are the circles here you can just put the circles 
so that's about the state table next is uh, flow table <coughs> <clears throat> See the point is asynchronous frequency circuits operate in fundamental mode. The input states are now uh, never uh, input states are never a change unless the NC state is stable. Okay, unless the NC state is stable, input states are not changed. That's why in, I, I, I said in all cases input is held a constant it means this is the basic condition that input states are never changed unless the NC state unless the network is in stable. That means unless present state and NC state are equal at that time. The <coughs> till that time, <coughs> the input is not changed. <coughs> input is never changed till the network is stable. So next is flow table. To construct a flow table from the state table, from the state table you can write the flow table. This is the flow table. Uh, to construct the flow table from the state table, um, so unstable states are replaced by symbols or state that the network eventually enters. Second point. Any row having no circles and circle entries are deleted. No circle entries should be completely deleted. That means if a row contains completely no circle, then that row can be deleted like that. No circles entries. Any row having no circles entries are deleted. Outputs are specified only for those total input sets. Outputs are specified for those total input states corresponding to the stable set. If there is a stable set, you can define the output. If there is no stable set, that state should be replaced by dash. So all other output entries are replaced by dashes. That means here state is a, the, this state is stable. That means both are equal. So you can write a zero here. Okay. So this is our state table. I already drawn the state, state, uh, state table. So state table, this is the state table. The, in state table, if A is A, A for output is 0, for C, it is not state table, state, it is not stable, so it is dash. This is stable, so output is 0. This is unstable, so dash. Unstable, dash. Unstable, dash. These two are stable, so corresponding values. Values we already find, found from the expression. This two stable, okay, not stable, dash like that we completely filled up. The difference is here, in the previous case, here it is C, sorry, here it is A, C in this. In this uh, state table, this point was A, but here, a small difference, here it is C. Why? In float table, it is C. Let us compare this with the state table. See, this is a nice state table, in state table, uh, see, consider the second row, second column in SSZ. This is the second row, second column in SSZ. This is the point A. Okay? After true internal transition, operating point enters into C. Why? This change in flow table, this A changes to C. Why? This is the only unstable set that is replaced. Since it is only unstable set, that leads to another unstable set. The, uh, why this change to C means this is this is actually C but in flow table this is sorry this is actually A but in flow, flow table I return a C why why because uh, here it is A see look at here if A is the present state these are not equal so it is unstable then it should go for the so next state present state will become A and it check now it is C it is unstable then again for C check present state C then only after two transition only it becomes stable what about other condition consider this condition a this is not equal then a changes to present set equal consider this uh, consider this unstable set d c d not equal then ch it changes to present set d d equal only single transition consider this b d b not equal then it is for b b b equal for single transition all the state becomes stable but in the case of this element, after two transition only it is become stable, and that is sorry, after two transition only it reaches a stable state. Okay. And one more thing is, uh, this is the only unstable state that is replaced. Since it is only unstable state, that leads to another unstable state. All other states consider this stable, the unstable state D. C D not equal, then it goes to D, D D stable. 
that means d changes to a stable set really but here first is a then present set become a then it goes to unstable set you see all other case it goes to stable but in this case unstable set goes to another unstable set so that's why it is replaced by the final state table final state c so i replaced by c i replaced this a by c now we need to draw the flow diagram this is the flow diagram this is similar to that of state diagram only so from here you can write the flow diagram from this table and four states a b z d so four set a b z d consider a a 0 0 a only so it is a self loop a 0 0 necessity is a a 0 0 necessity is a for 0 1 also necessity is a 0 1 also necessity is a for 0 0 and 0 1 necessity is a only that is self loop what is the output here for this two output is 0 0 so i wrote output is 0 here also output is 0 what about uh, a for uh, 0 1 combination it goes to c so a for 0 1 combination it goes to c output is 0 why output is dash this uh, for this state it is unstable so it is represented by a dash so that's why i am not writing any output here now it is uh, a 1 1 it is going to be now for a 1 1 a 1 1 it is going to be and output is dash why because it is not a stable set so it is dash now b b 0 1 0 and 1 1 it is self loop b is going to be only so 1 0 1 1 that means for b 1 0 and 1 1 it is a self loop for 1 0 and 1 1 what is the output 1 0 output is 1 0 1 1 0 so 1 0 1 1 1 it is 0 that's why it is written for b 0 0 it is going to a check it for b 0 0 it is going to a state and output is a dash so we can b 0 0 it is going to a like that you completely fill up this you can draw the this entire table you can map to here as a float table this is the procedure and that's about the asynchronous sequential circuit is the complete design so while designing you have to follow these steps and finally you have to draw this float table if a question asks like that, you analyze the asynchronous sequence circuit, you have to follow all these steps and finally you should write this flow table.